Hi guys, welcome to Simproved Voice Speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build a scuba school. So your Sims can learn to swim and to dive and basically it's a beach lot and it's a very very cool community lot as well. So take all your Sims kids over there and learn swimming and yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I started with basically the main shape of it. As I said in the intro, it's going to be a beach lot, so I didn't have that many restrictions. But later on we will also put a bar in there, so you can also use it as a bar later on and set it to a bar if you want to. But I thought it would be so cool to have like a school kind of setting here, because I haven't seen anybody else building a scuba or swimming school. And since in The Sims there is no swimming skill, but there is definitely the fitness skill that they need to swim faster and all that kind of stuff. And also we have some scuba diving equipment with the new Island Living expansion pack. And I thought this would be actually a cool kind of wonky build. Maybe it's too special, you know, kind of like that not so many want to use it, but I honestly need more community lots in the game and, you know, kind of changing it up and have a place for the Sims to go to and to, you know, not be at home all the time. And I most, yeah, I just enjoy them more, the community lots that kind of, you know, are a little bit more special. So we have two kind of natural pools outside. Um, I wanted to have two of them. So one is maybe for the beginner class and one is a little bit more advanced So it also goes a little bit deeper and I just thought maybe there can be like two classes at the same time You know one for the kids and one for the adults and then I also wanted to have a large deck in front So that the parents or you know the friends or something can look over it and, and see the sims do their scuba training or something like this. I also thought maybe a surface school would be cool, but then again, how does a surface school look like? So I just thought this is just makes more sense in, in a way to have in the game. And here you can already see me experimenting with the roofs again. As always, guys, I know that you write this a lot that my roofs look kind of special. So for the scuba school, I wanted to go with a modern but also tropical kind of feel. So what we are going to do is we have this very steep, very high roofing and I could put like little towers almost. And I just wanted to see how I can make them look a little bit more modern. So I will put a half wall on top of that. It kind of looks like as a mezzard roof in the beginning. And I wanted to see uh, how cool it will look like if we have like some glass roofs on top. So it has modern kind of architecture. It's very blocky. It will have kind of very modern wallpaper, but the roofing will be made out of dry palm leaves, but then also have a glass roof on top. And I thought that looks a little bit more interesting and kind of, you know, just more decorated. And I think it looks really cool. It could be interesting also for a museum or any kind of modern Solani build, in my opinion. Because I've been looking up on Google how stuff could look like, you know, and how modern tropical beach kind of houses are looking like. And they try to incorporate kind of local architecture here. And I thought this is so, so interesting. So I wanted to incorporate this here too. I can provide you with a special link to a house where I've seen this. I just saw the, I would say more natural version of this. And I just thought, hey, you could make it look modern with a glass roof on top. So this is what we're going to do here, stacking some roofs and you know making it look awesome but still modern and yeah i kind of like how it turned out later on uh, we will go with a secondary color you can see that i chose the sand color and the solani fence comes in this white and blue kind of color theme so i thought blue is perfect kind of reminds us of swimming pool water and scuba schools in general i think and therefore, I thought this is cool, we can use this white and blue everywhere, kind of, and incorporate it into the sandy color of the roof and the wallpaper. 
And uh, when I was finished with that, the exterior, you know, windows and all that kind of stuff, I actually started to decorate it. I put in the new debug objects that we have. For those who don't know, we got a new patch, I think last Tuesday? Yeah, last week. And we got lots and lots of new debug objects, which are basically hidden objects in the game that you can access through the normal build and buy mode. You have to use some cheats and that would be BB show hidden objects. And that would be the normal debug mode that we already had. And now with a new cheat, you can also put in bb.show life edit objects or something like that. <laughs> I will post it into the screen somewhere so you can try it out. And then if you put in debug into the filter options in build and buy mode, then you can find them. So these are basically objects that are in the worlds that you get with all the expansion packs in the background somewhere. There are also lots of cars that you can see driving around usually. And also there will be some stuff from Brindleton Bay, which is basically the cats and dogs world. There were some boys and some water decorations that really fit the world and I put them here everywhere. So these are kind of fiddly to find because it's like a huge menu then because you have thousands of new objects. So I didn't record that, but you can see some of these objects already being in place here, which is basically one, some of the uh, entrance arches. And I also used the flagpole, some boys, some uh, floaters and all that kind of stuff that I found. And yeah, basically this is what I wanted to use here because we don't have that much uh, maritime, I would say. I mean, we have lots of tropical stuff, but we don't have so many sea maritime marina whatever it's called objects and i thought this is basically a cool idea to have then we went on to the interior and i wanted to make it look kind of modern slash tropical beachy again and so the entrance has of course like a front desk where you can check in or maybe books of classes and all that kind of stuff and therefore there's not much going on. I went with a white because I really wanted it to look modern and kind of clean. And then I started to decorate basically the, bay, the, the first floor. So you have this desk when you come in, there will just be, you know, this white desk, some PCs, a little logo on the back. And sometimes you can see me putting in the, I think it's a laundry day ironing board, I guess you call it. And then I would just stack something over it so it doesn't look like an iron ironing board. Oh my god, it's hard to pronounce. Because I want the ironing board to look like a surfboard. So these are pretend to be surfboards. And then sometimes I will also put, of course, the one and only scuba object that we have with the new island living pack, which is a kind of like a closet wardrobe thing with some scuba gear in it and I thought okay we need this the only thing that I hate about this it only comes in one color swatch and it's kind of like a very dark you know it's like this dark iron color and that kind of bothers me I really would have loved to have something in white or something also there's some changing I don't know what it's called, wardrobes as well for your sims so they can get it to their scuba gear or leave something in their, you know, their bags and everything so they can change later. Just thought it makes more sense and also I will put some floaters and boys into the water, into the natural pools. So these are maybe training objects that they have to die for or have to retrieve in some of the training sessions, you know, something like this. Just thought it makes more sense. And basically I wanted it to look very realistic, but also I didn't want to put in like a classroom or something because I just thought they are going to do this in the water because I took some diving lessons as well, by the way, guys. I really wanted to get, I don't know what it's called, but I would describe it as a certificate that I could go more than under 20 meters or 30 I don't, I'm not sure but then i couldn't do that one because my one of my ears is basically too damaged that i can't dive very deeply and therefore i never could, was able to get me this diving certificate because i really wanted to do diving when i was younger <laughs> and i loved it very very much but yeah now uh, i guess that hobby and career is gone <laughs> But yeah, I really enjoyed that and I thought this is also like a 
cool idea to maybe have my sim go scuba diving you know so this is basically also like a build for myself you know that usually you try to build or like play your sim self and let them do all the stuff that you never could do or maybe will never do and this is something yeah that i wanted to, my sim to do and i was actually really happy that they can dive for treasures now and dive for i don't know take underwater pictures which is why I wanted to dive basically I wanted to see all the fishies and all that stuff take pictures that was basically something that I really would have enjoyed but yeah thanks to my uh, bad right ear I can't yeah this is also sometimes um, if you meet me in real life that I can't like I have no volume control because I can't hear very well on my right ear so sometimes I will talk not like in a normal volume and then I just will shout the next sentence and it's not on purpose I don't want to be rude or get your attention it's just because my volume control I can't hear myself really well and sometimes it's not it's kind of off so <laughs> yeah basically I'm kind of a little bit deaf on the right ear yeah I guess this is how I can describe it yeah, you could already see that I put like a little bar inside so you can access that bar and also there will be upstairs another scuba training gear kind of room plus of course a bathroom which I will also show you here and yes I know sometimes I don't show you the bathrooms but as always there are bathrooms in my build so yeah so your sims can use it duh. Uh, <laughs> but I thought it's kind of like a cool idea to have everything over there so you can use it as a bar but you can also use it like as a scuba school kind of you know have your sims swim there in these natural ponds and I will also put some jet skis outside so they can travel to these huge boys boys <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it but basically they can go there really quickly if they're not a mermaid and yeah do their scuba diving like their real scuba diving here basically in the interior design I, I could use lots and lots of these objects from get to work that look a little bit like oxygen tanks or kind of bottles I will stack them everywhere next to the scuba closet wardrobe thing and also I use some of the get famous I think these are like trolleys with equipment like lighting equipment and electrical equipment for the movies but I also thought since these are just boxes kind of could be used for scuba as well so this is basically how I know these scuba schools from my experiences usually you always have like a huge pool for the beginners that isn't so deep sometimes if they're really well equipped they have like a really deep pool if you are of course on the beach if it's like a beach lot keep in mind i trained in just pools and then sometimes i could dive in the natural world <laughs> um in the natural sea you need some really deep pools or like a real sea to go really deep and train your ears to drain your train i don't know like how to breathe well with the oxygen mask and all that stuff so it's kind of a little hard but yeah this is basically my scuba school my dream come true finally for my sims and of course yours as well here is the video tour of everything I put some floaters into the natural pool like I said there are some lounge chairs there's the bar your sims can sit outside and watch their kids when they are you know swimming there and of course there's lots of scuba equipment and a little bit of plants in the middle some water plants i just thought it looks kind of cool and yeah it's very very well decorated kind of the roof looks a little bit maybe weird in my opinion it looks very interesting <laughs> and i haven't seen anyone do that kind of roof before and yeah i really hope that you like it if you do and you want to have this into your game then you can click on the download link that i will put in the video description down below and you can download it there and yeah basically it's of course also on the gallery called scuba school so you can also search for it in the gallery but i would always recommend to use the download link because then you get to the browser version of the real gallery and yes, please guys, don't ask me to put some pirated versions in a zip file somewhere because first of all, I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know how to get to my houses and put them somewhere online. And second of all, I don't want to encourage people, you know, to get the pirated 
game so I'm really happy that you want to have this but maybe ask a friend who has the real version and they can give it to you because I actually don't even know how to do this and yeah basically it's a really cool kind of small build. I'm currently in Spain at my parents' house visiting them and I can only build on a really small crappy laptop but uh, this won't keep me away from building of course and if you have any ideas like smaller builds I can do on these laptops and also render in the video then please let me know and I will try my best to build them if they're not too complicated, not too big. And also I will put you in the shout out, of course, because you had this awesome idea for it. So yeah, as always, comment down below with some cool ideas for building. And especially if it's like a smaller kind of build that my tiny little laptop can handle. But yeah, this is basically it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.